Hi, I'm Sasha Segan with PCMag.com and this is What's New Now. Apple's new MacBook has only two ports, a headphone jack and a USB type C port, which serves for power, video, hard drives, connectivity, and anything else you need in the world. Along with MSI, that makes Apple one of the first PC makers to support the new USB-C standard, which is going to take over the world in the next few years. Let's take a closer look. USB-C is a small port, a lot like a micro USB jack, but it's reversible. There's no right side up and no upside down. Using the USB 3.1 standard, it supports 10 gigabit data transfer and 100 watts of power. That means it could power full-size laptops like the MacBook Pro, which has an 85 watt power supply. It's also twice as fast as USB 3 and 20 times as fast as the old USB 2 cables we're still using to connect most devices. This is not an Apple standard, I have to emphasize that. There are 700 companies involved, and this is the new USB, it's just that Apple is a relatively early adopter. There are a few problems though. The specifically Apple problem is that with only one port, you need to choose between powering your computer and connecting things to it. Apple's solution is a $79 dongle, which gives you charging, connectivity, and either VGA or HDMI video out, but it's a dongle. The other problem is that we're just very early in the transition from all of our different existing USB forms to USB-C, so USB-C stuff isn't widely available or cheap yet. Apple has $20 adapters, and Belkin announced a line of $20 cables coming later this summer. SanDisk has a $49 flash drive coming that works with both USB-C and big USB devices, but you'll pay a price for being cutting edge. That said, you should expect to see USB Type-C everywhere by next year. Samsung phones, Dell laptops, you name it. This is the future. For more on USB-C, check out our coverage at PCMag.com. I'm Sasha Segan, and that's what's new now.